good morning. Good morning. We have traveled about two hours or so from our Airbnb that we showed y'all last week to Hocking Hills State Park in Ohio. It's a very windy and curvy road to get here, but we made it. Yep, all of us are feeling a little bit tummy sick, including Riley herself. So she's just hanging out on the ground right now. There are a ton of trails in Hocking Hills State Park, and we're going to spend most of the day here. We're not going to get to all of them, but we'll see as many as we can. And to start it out, we are going to Ash Cave. So Ash Cave is a pretty short and flat half mile loop, but it's supposed to be very pretty and a quick little stop. Yeah, we thought it'd be a good way to start out our day in Hocking Hills State Park. Shawnee, Delaware and Wyandotte tribes frequently hunted and lived in the Hocking Hills region in the 16 and 1700s, although archaeological evidence documents that Native Americans inhabited the area as early as 7,000 years ago. These Native American tribes referred to the Hawking River as the Hawk Hawking or the Bottleneck River because of the river gorge's bottle shape. Ash Cave, located in Hawking Hills State Park, is named for enormous piles of ashes that white settlers discovered on the cave floor. Allegedly, massive piles of ashes existed on the cave floor, with at least one pile supposedly being 3 feet deep, 100 feet long, and 30 feet wide. White settlers believe that Native Americans living in the area used Ash Cave for shelter and that the ashes were the remains of campfires that accumulated over centuries. Archaeological evidence supports these conclusions. It appears that the Shawnee primarily used Ash Cave perhaps as a place of rest while traveling between villages in modern-day West Virginia and Central Ohio. In 1924, the state of Ohio purchased 146 acres of land in the Hocking Hills. This purchase formally established Hocking Hills State Park. The state of Ohio eventually purchased additional land, including Ash Cave. We just finished Ash Cave. Uh, I like that. Yeah, it was really pretty. The first, like, complete half of the trail is flat, handicap accessible. Like, yeah, it's like can... a paved walking trail. Yeah, it was a really nice trail. And then once you see the cave, there's like a trail that goes up and around to turn it into a loop. You don't have to do the loop. No, you could easily just come back because you're there to see the cave. So, But if you want to do the loop, you have to go up some stairs and then it becomes more of like a hiking trail. Yeah, traditional trail, but um, really, really pretty. Mm -hmm. Super quick. I think that took maybe 20 minutes, mm -hmm. including filming. So pretty quick. Um, so far, Miss Beans is whining. Riley's very excited. She's she, very she was a big fan of the trail. There was sand on the trail and she loves running around. She loves sand. sand. So she was pretty happy with it. Um, but so far this is giving like Starved Rock State Park vibes in Illinois. Um, mm -hmm. We always compare just so that way if you've been somewhere else you can kind of know what we're talking about. We're not just comparing places to compare. But yeah, um, from here we are driving to the main area of Hawking Hills to where the visitor center is. There's a ton of stuff to see there. There's a bunch of different trails. Uh, should be about 10 minutes from here, so we'll see y'all at the visitor center. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Why did I think we were turning the other way? I have no idea <laughs> what I was watching with delight. <laughs> with over 10,000 acres of trails, waterfalls, caves, gorges, and more, people come from all over to visit this beauty. The park consists of six main spots. The Old Man's Cave area, which is where we are now, Cedar Falls, Ash Cave, Rock House, Cantwell Cliffs, and Conkles Hollow. The Devil's Bathtub is a fascinating stretch of the stream bed. It consists of unique tiered waterfalls between the Upper Falls and Old Man's Cave. The tub is situated in a weak layer of black hand sandstone and is constantly enlarged by the swirling action of Old Man's Creek. The upper part of the falls drops into a deep, bowl-shaped basin, forming a captivating whirlpool before dropping again into the large pool below. Although the pool is rumored to extend deep into the depths of Haiti, it's only a few feet deep. Over 330 million years ago, the Hawking Hills region was covered by the Atlantic Ocean, depositing the sand and gravel which eventually formed the black hand sandstone the area is known for named after a black hand print petroglyph left by Native Americans on a cliff face near what is now Newark, Ohio. After a time, the ocean receded and millions of years of erosion from streams and groundwater cut through the soft middle layer of sandstone, 
resulting in the iconic rock formations and natural features this region is known for today. The residual moist climate allows many trees and plant species which require damp environments to grow in this region, such as hemlocks and Canadian yews, which are not otherwise found in Ohio. The recessed caves you see in the park are made from sapping, where the softer middle layer of the sandstone gets carved out by water and wind. Although these caves are not actual caves, they're just massive overhangs left from the process of sapping. The leveler. That's what I was talking about earlier. Yeah, it looks like there's like a... <laughs> Our camera has a new feature where there's like a level and when it's pointed at me right now, it looks like I have some growth like right here on my face. So we just finished the broken loop trail and it's kind of confusing to follow because there's like parts of the trail you get to and there's a couple different ways to go. Um, depending on what all you want to see. Um, so we were hoping to see an old man's cave, but we decided to go one way and then we thought it was going to take us back to old man's cave and we, we bypassed old man's cave. Somehow. Yeah, a lot of the trails that we've come across with here are one directional, uh, which I don't hate the idea of, so everybody has to walk in one direction, but we were kind of we were trying to make our own trail and kind of go here and then backtrack and then go here and it's not really set up to do that so uh, yeah we'd actually walked all the way down to the visitor center to start the hike because that's where all trails said to go and we got all the way down there and then they said oh if you want to start the hike you have to walk to the other end of the parking lot which is where we were parked so yeah it was a bit confusing but very very pretty it was beautiful a couple years ago, we spent some time in Ithaca, New York, and we're exploring like the Finger Lakes region over there. And there was a hike that we did called Lucifer's Fall, Lucifer's Falls, that was like incredible and really reminded us of that mm -hmm. here, because uh, you're walking through the gorge the entire time, and it's it was incredible. Uh, it is currently mid February, early February, early February. Early February. Yeah. yeah, and there's like barely anybody here. Uh, by the size of this parking lot, I bet in a warm day on the weekend, it's probably miserably crowded. So, bonus points to us again for coming when nobody else was here. Uh, we have one more trail to do in the park. Uh, it's called Rock House. It's like a 15, 20 minute drive from here. So we're heading over to Rock House and see what that's all about. We have made it to the Rock House Trail and we've already gotten started. This is another one of those you gotta walk in one direction trails, so we got confused at first. Riley girl is here, she's hanging out on my backpack. She's already done two and a half miles today, so we thought we'd give her a little break. Plus, She'll probably be a little sore tomorrow. Yeah, we're actually gonna be going into a cave if I understand correctly, so we just thought this would probably be the best thing for everybody, but. She literally looks like she's about to fall asleep. Yeah, so far the trail's super easy. Apparently, it's supposed to get hard at some point in time, but. All the reviews said it was very steep and quite challenging, but so far it's not, pretty flat, I'm not, so, so I'm not sure. We'll find <laughs> out. walked by the cave. <laughs> There's no sign saying, hey, turn here to get in the cave. I just kind of started wandering. Yeah, the trail kind of looks like it keeps going, which maybe it does. I don't know. Maybe it That's how you get out. Um, yeah, we're in the cave. We're the only ones here currently. Kind of creepy. A pigeon about killed Candace. Let's put that footage right here. <laughs> Is that a bad reverb? It's a giant pigeon. Did y'all see that face? Just 
Candace hates pigeons. Well, I thought it was a bat at first, but a pigeon is almost just as bad. Yeah. It's really neat. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. It's really nice that we're here alone. Spoiler alert, it got steeper. Just like I knew it would. Yeah, it was flat in the beginning, and then we went down, and you know what they say, what goes down must come back up. Although I think they say what goes up must come back down, but. Um, I think that is the saying, yeah. Yeah, it got real steep at the very end, and we didn't film because we really couldn't talk all that much because it was mostly. <sighs> it was short, though. It wasn't that bad. Yeah, it said it was like five. No. There's like eight tenths. eight tenths. We ended up going almost a mile, but that's fine. Um, so that is gonna wrap up our time in Hawking Hill, um, but the video is not over. Don't click the back button yet. Click subscribe, but don't click the back button yet. What are we doing now? What's on the plan? Now we are doing the most important thing of all of our travels to a new place, getting a Riley girl for French fry. The Ohio French fry. Uh, so we're driving about half an hour from Hocking Hill into the city of Lancaster, Ohio. And I think we'll save where we're going as a surprise. So stay tuned, it's coming up right now. Well, we have made it to our next stop, the most important stop of the day, of course. We went to Lancaster, Ohio to visit Charlie's Cheesesteaks. Now, I'm pretty sure that you said that it started in Columbus. I'm pretty positive it was Columbus, yes. If it's not Columbus, I'll put it right here on the screen. She is already ready to go. She knows what is happening. She said, wait, that's not a french fry. So our Ohio french fry for Riley girl is coming from Charlie's Cheesesteaks. Very intriguing. I gotta make sure it's not poisonous, baby. All right, here you go, baby girl. Your Ohio French fry. Yeah, yummy. Do you like that one? All right, so that is gonna do it for our video this week. We hope you guys enjoyed Hocking Hill State Park. It was incredible. It was so beautiful. It reminded us of Riley is done. Riley's exiting the video. It remind, this is what we have to do every time she gets in and out. It works pretty well. Sometimes it's a little sketchy. So anyway, uh, that is going to wrap up our time here in Hocking Hill State Park. We love the trails. We love mm -hmm. the gorges, the waterfalls. It exceeded my expectations. Yeah, I was thoroughly impressed. And it was free. And it reminded us of Starved Rock State Park in Illinois. It kind of reminded us of a couple of the gorges near Ithaca, New York, and the Finger Lakes. It just had kind of a different vibe every trail you went to. Uh, so next week, we are still going to be in Ohio. We have something special in mind for y'all next week. I'll let Candace talk about that a little bit. Next week, you will see us checking out some weird and unusual attractions. We're going to leave it at that. Some might say some oddities of Ohio perhaps. perhaps some states have some weird stuff Ohio is one of those states that has some weird stuff so that's what we're gonna do so as always we'll, we'll see y'all somewhere, somewhere. I'm gonna spend the, the major there are a ton of hit there are a ton of trails oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness why did I think we were turning the other way I have no idea <laughs> what I was watching with delight <laughs> Pretty flat. I think it's about a half mile. So Thanks for watching Riley Rooms. Click subscribe to keep up with all of our latest travels, and don't forget to click that like button too.